Hello Knitters! I'm sharing some of my favourite things with you today, including two fun sock knitting projects and a beautiful stitching project I'm working on at the moment. I'm Helen of Curious Handmade and I chat about knitting and other crafty and creative things here on this channel. But first up, I wanted to share with you the projects behind the first two windows of Knitvent 2021. The first design that was released for Knitvent this year is the Skyline Wrap, and that's what I'm wearing. It is a big, cosy scarf or wrap, and I'll just show you how wide it is. It's quite wide. And this is knit using an Advent set. I have used the Natural Fibre Arts Advent set from last year, which was their winter colorway. And it was originally released as a gradient. Um, and instead of knitting it as a gradient, I mixed up the colors so that they would contrast for the striped section. So, um, it starts with a single colour on the ribbed border and then we have some chevrons, some slip stitches, more garter stitch chevrons. Chevrons again but with eyelets dividing up the repeats. Uh, and then the slip stitch section repeats, graphic section. And then this is the middle section and there's just one of these sections and I'm not sure if you can see it but this is my favorite section it's got some garter rows and some stockinette rows and I just love the way it, it um, comes out with the stripes and the garter stitch and the texture um, so that's my absolute favorite section for the wrap and because of the way I designed it, I was designing it as I went along. And by the time I got to this section, I was in the middle of the wrap. And to make it symmetrical, I felt like I couldn't repeat it again. So I repeated this, those sections that I just showed you going back the other side of the wrap. Um, but if I had tried out that stitch pattern or that combination of rows earlier on, I might have repeated that that particular section um, on one of these other on one of these other sections, probably here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be telling you these things, um, but I think that the thing about this wrap that is so lovely is that you can choose your favorite sections and either just do that stitch pattern or um, you know choose your favorite two sections if you prefer. You can also make it wider or narrower by um, increasing or decreasing in um, in multiples of 12. So the repeats are 12 stitches um, so you can you can do that. If you have a gradient advent set it will still work quite well. My Test Knitter Tracy is knitting her sample or her test in a gradient set. And when you come to stripey sections like this, it will just be a lot more subtle between the stripes. So you could either just do one color and then one color, like rather than doing stripes, if you have a, a gradient and wanted to do it that way, or you can stripe it and it will be a bit more fadey like a like a fade um so yeah there's lots and lots of different options when you come to the slip stitch sections having a bit of contrast is good this didn't turn out to be very contrasty in this dark green section um it shows off the pattern a bit better in this section here yeah so just have a play with the colors you have and um, yeah, that's, that probably shows it off the best actually. The slip stitches, the, it's kind of mosaic, I guess it's technically mosaic knitting, but this is just achieved, this color works it just achieved with slip stitches. It's not 
um, carrying the yarn behind. Um, but yes, uh, you can just use your advent calendars how they come out. Because um, I have like one colour and then two colours together, if you're being really strict about, about it, you might have to wait a day and then open up the third colour on the third day if you wanted to. But if you wanted to start knitting the second section, you might have to skip a day ahead and open up day three on day two, if that makes sense. Um, so, um, yeah, it just depends on how you want to open up your calendars if you're knitting it from a calendar. And if you're knitting it from um, scrap yarn or other yarn in your stash, um, mini skeins, then it's obviously not an issue um, and you can then choose your colour combinations and everything up front. So I had a lot of fun designing this. I was designing this um, back in March and April this year and um, a lot of it was designed when we were on holidays. So I have a lot of happy memories of our holiday to North Queensland. We visited the Great Barrier Reef and the Daintree and I was uh, stitching on this as we were doing rainforest tours and things like that. Um, so that was quite fun and yes, lovely, lovely memories. Um, and we had a lovely photo shoot um, at a place called Conondale, which is in the hinterland here in Queensland on the Sunshine Coast on a beautiful farm. And yes, it was a lovely, a lovely photo shoot with a, my gorgeous photographer, Paula Brennan. Uh, so yeah, so that's the, the first um, big surprise for Knitvent this year. And the second design for Knitvent is the Rose Cottage Cowl. And it's this very snuggly, um, cozy cowl to wear around your neck. Just pop it on. Um, this yarn is by uh, an indie dyer called The Fibersmith and uh, that's also the name of a um, the shop um, which is The Fibersmith and they sell fabric and um, yarn and lots of other lovely things um, and I started buying fabric uh, from them I bought some fabric for some dresses and a little bit of um, fabric for quilts. So the yarn is hand dyed DK Merino and it's 100% Australian sustainable wool um, and it's just very, very soft and beautiful. I think it's very fine, extra fine Merino, so it's super soft. And the theme for Knitvent this year is holiday movies. And I was particularly inspired for my designs by the movie The Holiday with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet as the two female leads. And in the movie, Cameron Diaz wears a beautiful, cozy, um, cabled sweater probably familiar with it. If you've seen the movie, you would have noticed it. It's beautiful cream. And so I was really inspired by the knitwear in that movie, particularly that cardigan. And I wanted to have a cable design in Knitvent. Um, and I thought for knitting quick gifts, I wouldn't put too many cables on something, but I just wanted a touch of the, the braid cable on something so I popped it on this cowl and there's just a little bit of detail as you go around with um, just a little bit of ribbing to break up the the sections and provide a little bit of interest as you go around there's a really nice cardigan pattern on Ravelry called Fireside Sweater and that's by Amber Allison she's uh, designed the sweater um, to replicate that sweater that Cameron Diaz wears in The Holiday. 
and in the scene where she's wearing it she's in the Rose Hill cottage um, which is a beautiful thatched cottage in the Cotswolds and so I decided to um, have a nod to that scene and so I called it Rose Cottage Cal to uh, give a little nod to that moment. So I hope if you're participating in Knitvent you enjoy those two designs and now I thought I'd share a little project that I started working on this week. It's not a knitting project, it's a embroidery project and I was thinking about my advent calendars that I have on the way. I have three advent calendars this year. I have two yarn calendars, one from Natural Fibre Arts in the colourway that I put together a mood board for and then I have another a yarn calendar coming from Sherry Iris in the UK and finally I splurged and bought the Stitchery Advent calendar um, from Nikki Franklin and Nikki has this business the Stitchery and she provides embroidery kits, embroidery lessons online and yeah, she does these amazing looking advent calendars. I think they have six little embroideries in them. And I was enabled on this by my dear friend Deb, Tink Hickman, because last year she was posting um, on Instagram an embroidery that she was doing. And I think it was this one. It's um, just this gorgeous Christmas tree with little bunny rabbits and so I bought this last year this little embroidery kit for the Christmas tree and I suddenly thought oh maybe I should work on this and try and complete this for this year um, before my advent calendar comes with six more little mini um, little mini embroideries. So it just comes in a little paper bag with the, um, the picture on some linen and I this linen is so beautiful. I don't know exactly what it is and I don't know where she gets this linen from but I want some more. It is that's I can't even describe. It's so fine. It's got beautiful texture. It's got a beautiful slubby linen texture. Um, but it just feels so smooth and lovely and it's beautiful weight. I I just um can't get enough of this of this fabric. <laughs> um so I'm hoping that uh, all her kits use this particular linen because it's so nice. Um, so I just pulled it out uh, yesterday and the instructions come on these lovely um, bits of cardboard and the very detailed instructions, all this um, very fine print is telling you exactly where to start, what to stitch first and what stitch and what colours to do it in. And then you have the, the threads. So the threads are all numbered um, and colour coded to match up with the directions. So it says to start on the trunk of the tree and it said to use split stitch and I did not know what that was. And then I had a really, really vague memory of purchasing Nikki's um, beginner embroidery course. And I probably did that around the time I bought this, like around, my, not this time last year, but maybe in December last year. <laughs> and so I suddenly had a thought because I was like, how do I do this stitch? 
suddenly remembered that maybe I had a vague memory of buying the course and I had to go back into my emails and yes, sure enough, I had bought this embroidery course, had not looked at it before. Um, so I spent a couple of hours this morning starting that course, dipping into different sections of it and um, yeah, and learning how to do split stitch. <laughs> so I've just started doing a tiny, tiny bit of the trunk and um, that also led me to um, go online and purchase some embroidery hoops. So I've um, purchased a, a hoop to work on this project from um, Bryn and Co, who's a local to me embroidery kit maker. Um, she does lovely embroidery kits that I've talked about on the podcast and on here before. Um, I've done her um, grow embroidery and and now going to start working on her love embroidery. So it's the word love with flowers all around it. Um, but in the meantime, I think at the moment I'm going to concentrate on this little one. So yeah, I'm just really delighted to be working on this. It's such a sweet, delightful pattern. Um, and she also tells you how to paint on the fabric with watercolors to um, even make the background more interesting. So I don't know, that's kind of an optional thing to do is to paint on the fabric. I don't know, it seems like a little bit scary to do that, but maybe I'll give it a go. Yeah, so sweet, so sweet. I love the style. I love the very sweet, romantic, uh, whimsical style of these embroideries. And finally, as promised, I'll just show you a couple of knitting projects I've been working on. So I'm very excited to have a finished object. This is my um, Cyril socks which is a pattern by Danny of Little Bobbins. It was her first knitting pattern, I think, that she published. And I am going to be gifting these to my dad for Christmas. Um, the yarn is by Nathan of Twisted Finch, who's um, a knitty dyer in the UK and just does these beautiful colors, very deep, moody um, colors of his yarn and photography as well. Love it and just lovely for a, a dad gift, I think. It's a very beautiful chestnut color. Um, so thank you for the lovely pattern, Danny. And, um, and then so then I picked up another work in progress and I'm really um, moving through my whips now. And this one is, um, the d pattern is by Alice Jeffries and the pattern is called Come Little Leaves. And I don't know if you can see the texture here. It's a very busy, um, colorway. So this yarn is by, uh, Robin of Birch Hollow Fibers, one of my favorite indie dyes based in the U.S. And the color is, um, the colorway is called Curiosity. So of course I couldn't resist that one. Um, it's really, really fun to knit with all these beautiful speckles. And when you're knitting a stitch with a really particular um, color, like it's really fun to knit that stitch. <laughs> Cause it's so like broken up into tiny little sections of speckles. And I like, really like the pink. There's a tiny little bit of pink. Um, and it doesn't look like there's pink in it because it looks very green and brown, but there's tiny little pops of pink. I don't know if you can see. And so whenever I come to one of those pops, I especially like doing that stitch. <laughs> so this is my first sock. Um, so trying to finish this one and then get onto the second sock. Um, but loving this pattern, Alice has just brought out a new pattern. Can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's, um, I, I think it might be called Fireside actually. It's, it's got sort of a flame lace motif. 
on the leg. Really beautiful design. Um, so um, thank you so much, Alice. Alice gifted me this pattern when she first brought out um, her, her design. Um, I think this was her first um, sock design as well. Uh, so yeah, so I've really been enjoying knitting this. The textured part was really fun to knit. And now I'm just zooming through the foot, the extra large foot for me. So I'm going to keep these. And uh, yes, so I think that's caught us up on my latest designs and latest projects. I hope you've enjoyed having a little visit with me and seeing what I'm up to. And I'll talk to you again soon. Happy knitting! Mm -hmm.